Now at six, time is running out for lawmakers to hash out differences on the debt limit. The Treasury Secretary says the U.S. could run out of cash as early as June 1st. And experts warn defaulting on the federal debt will lead to an economic meltdown. And with the negotiations underway, NASA is asking for a big budget from Congress, $27 billion dollars. That is 7% more money than last year. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson spent the morning trying to justify those billions of dollars while House Republicans called for deep budget cuts. As News 6 space expert Eric Von Inken reports, the hearing got contentious at times. Three, two, one. Boosters and NASA did something last year with its $25 billion budget that it hadn't done in half a century, send a human-rated capsule around the far side of the moon. And for next year, President Biden and NASA Administrator Bill Nelson want $27 billion to do it again and again and again next time with astronauts. But for much of the two hours that Nelson was grilled by the Senate Appropriations Committee... We are in a space race with China. He wasn't defending the scientific successes or ambitions of NASA, but rather its political position or lack of one as it's supposed to be. Looking at this year's budget request, I see things like $22 million for the, quote, Office of Diversity and Equal Opportunity, which has little to do with what you have called a space race between the free world and China. If we show up second at the Shackleton Crater, I highly doubt the communists care much about how we've advanced an equity action plan. The Republicans on the committee, especially the ranking member, Senator Ted Cruz from Texas, hammered Nelson and NASA for tens of millions of dollars spent on what he calls a political mandate from the White House. What I'm suggesting is NASA should stay focused on its core mission of going to space and going to the moon and going to Mars. You and I in this committee have a, a different approach to what is happening to the Earth's climate. It so happens that NASA is in the middle of this. Why? Because all those assets up there, the reality is, Senator Cruz, and you know I love you, uh, it's the fact that we have political differences. This Senate Appropriations Committee now has the next several weeks to make comments and then all of the appropriating and voting by Congress and president signing must be done by October 1st for NASA and the government, for that matter, to keep running. Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6. You don't hear it. You know I love you too often in those <laughs> meetings.